This is a cubic inch, but we're going to take the top of it and we are going to make it a square inch. Now, from here to the very tippy top of the atmosphere, there are 14.7 pounds of air pressure on the square inch. That is 14.7 pounds per square inch. Now, let's take this cube and move it to Mars. On Mars, on this face, there would be 0.095 pounds of air pressure. 0.095 pounds per square inch. Now, what does that actually mean for a flight to Mars? Well, let's find out using this marshmallow and the bell jar. So, right now inside of this marshmallow, there are little cavities. That means there are little air pockets on the inside of it. So, the marshmallow is in a state of equilibrium. That means there is equal air pressure on the inside of the marshmallow, on the inside of the bell jar, and on the inside of the atmosphere. But I have a vacuum pump behind the desk, and let's find out what happens when we take away the air pressure from the bell jar. So, as the air pressure in the bell jar goes down, the air pressure in the marshmallow remains the same. So the marshmallow is trying to expand, and the air, the pockets, are trying to expand to allow the air to escape the marshmallow, to return it to that point of equilibrium. So right around then, the marshmallow popped. It didn't pop in the traditional sense, like a balloon popped, but it popped in the idea that air is now flowing out of the marshmallow. So it's returning to a semi-original size. It won't be its exact original size because it's a little bit stretched out, but it's right around there. And once again, we have returned to a state of equilibrium. No air inside the marshmallow and no air inside the bell jar. Now, let's find out what happens when I reintroduce air into the bell jar. Three, two, one. The air cavities of this marshmallow didn't have air inside of them anymore. They had a lower air pressure than the air around it. So this marshmallow had no ability to resist the air coming into the bell jar once again. So this marshmallow was literally crushed by air. And so these are some of the considerations that we need to make when considering a space flight to Mars.